As the wise old saying goes, where there is smoke, there is sure to be fire. And are the Burnham Raiders not the masters of the flames? People say that embers glow in their eyes, that their muscles are harder than volcanic rock, and that lava flows through their veins in the way that it flows out of their fortress walls. Jasmine, brave maid, have you got the courage to open the gate of the Burnham Raiders' fortress and to explore their kingdom? Tally-ho! To the boxes we go! Let the unboxing begin! Follow me to the Crimson Caldera, an inhospitable abandoned area with burnt forests, stones, and lava crevices. This place is ruled by the warlord of the Burnham Raiders, to whom they also owe their name, Baron Burnham. Rumor has it that he is a nobleman from Novelmore who was cast out and banished by King John because of his obsession with arson and his destructive fury. His rage at this humiliation burns deep within him and fires his desire for revenge against the kingdom of Novelmore. Time and again, he calls for his comrade in arms, the diabolical knight Lucifex, to follow him into battle against King John of Novelmore. Another ally is his blacksmith, Sulphur. He is a master blacksmith and has the ability to transform stone into pyronium, a metal that can only be formed with the hottest of fires and with the greatest of skill. It is as hard and unyielding as the desire of the Burnham Raiders to conquer Novelmore. Yet another inhabitant of the fortress is the young and rebellious Brody Burnham. Just like his father Bayron, young Brody's heart burns with desire for adventure. His passion is so great that it threatens to consume him like dry wood to the flames. He has often traveled like a dark shadow through far-flung countries like Novelmore. Bayron and Brody always carry out their raids mounted on their fire horses, but only Bayron's horse bears the name Black Blaze. He is considered an experienced war horse whose burning mane and hooves have caused many an enemy to flee in terror. What the wolves are to the Knights of Novelmore, so too are the dragons of the Burnham Raiders. Loyal companions, but also strong-willed and only to be tamed by the bravest of warriors. Hidden in an extremely strong cage in the courtyard of the fortress, they can provide a fiery surprise for any attackers that Baron Burnham spies from his tower. But anyone who thinks that this is all the rebellious Burnham Raiders have to offer would be making a serious mistake. Their great gate is secured not with a heavy bolt, but by glowing flames that are red from the arteries of the volcano. What do you think, Jasmine? Surely an enemy who dares to open the gate will get almighty burns on their fingers. There is nowhere more appropriate than at the Burnham Raiders' fortress to shout during an attack, To the weapons! Get ready to fire! Ho ho! That is quite a fiery reception you are preparing for the enemy, Jasmine. This fortress really lights my fire. One can only hope that no enemy ever breaks through these walls, only to be dumped into the depths of the dungeon. Here, in this grim tower, the will to live would surely be extinguished, and the flames of hope would burn out forever. A shudder at the thought of a war between Novelmore and the Burnham Raiders. Will Baron Burnham, his son Brody, Lucifex and Sulphur really ride into battle? Or will they sit tight behind the walls and weapons of their mighty and mysterious fortress? However, I feel that it is unavoidable. It is rumored that the goal of the Knights of Novelmore and of the Burnham Raiders is the armor of Invincibus. This magical armor makes every warrior invincible and a great rivalry is about to erupt. Who will be the first to find the armor? But to see what happens, you must wait until next week 
when the slogan will once again be Novel War, play the adventure. <laughs> <laughs>